He has calls there? No, I, I think River's actually close, because I can't have 7 6 suited because of the suits he has. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think River is close, legitimately close. But I never seen someone like. He looked pained. Yeah, I don't know. He, he he broke character in, in, in on the turn, meaning like he yeah. stopped like yeah, that's staying bizarre. still. He was like yeah. doing this. Mm. It was very strange. And it took like two, four minutes on the turn. And then, it was very strange. By the way, I think weird. I think he's gonna come play here. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Really, be I think so. Yeah. Because wow. like he said, he wanted to do beer tasting at the lodge. Okay. And um, and then we like it kind of got heated, heated for a bit. I don't know if you guys watched like that part of the chat or whatever. We talked about like debts and all that kind of shit. Yeah, and then Corelba was fucking he was, ready to fire, wasn't he? He was yeah. so good to add into that. Dude, mm -hmm. the guy's so rich, he just buys him for a million to talk shit for an hour. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> well, he probably came by because Tom owes him money. <laughs> I think he said that in the stream. I don't think oh, it was. Still? Oh, well. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong. No, no, go ahead. I don't want to. I don't want to break Walter. Yeah, no, no. Keep, I, thought he, story. I thought I he. I thought he said yeah, that, but whatever, maybe, I could be wrong. No, it's all good. Um. But there was a moment where it got kind of intense between me and Tom, and then there was a pause, and I was like, are we still on for beer tasting at the oh, lodge? He's like, yeah, we're good. And no, we like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that so I'm hard. thinking maybe we do a day where it's That's like, cool. we play like something like this, maybe a little bigger, but something in this range. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if Tom comes out, we'll do like, just like, we'll have to drink beers and play poker and stuff. Oh, so cool. I assume people would want to play that. Or just see me? No, they have rice, really? Yeah. Okay, I must, yeah, I must yeah, be yeah, conflating. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. I must be conflating that and something else. That one's like a reasonable. No, and no, then, I like and then the other one that is, is pretty good is Musashino. Okay, I don't have a phone. But, but um, so actually, when I moved here, <coughs> when I lived in Vegas, mm -hmm. I would go to a place called Sushi Hero. And um, the chef followed poker. Yeah, I've heard of it. And uh, he, like, Knew who I was. They had me like right five players to a flop. First hand of the nit game. Table over here. They're like, oh, Makase will take care of you. Or like, yeah. that's cool. Anyway, when I told him I was moving to Austin, he's like, okay, set for hard here. Like, Open ender for place. easy so and for J win. But the only, my only problem with it is you can't no, uh, make a reservation for two, and it's very far from me. So like sometimes I drive and it's always very busy and then I get there and like oh well, you can't you can't eat so I was like I'm not gonna drive 35 minutes to not eat, hmm. but it's they just don't allow it with policy. She started making it for three and then showing it with two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what she do. Yeah, unless they make you prepay or something. Three seems like more inconvenient for us. Heads up, Hart goes all in with his set. Quick call from Easy. Huge pot. Twenty-four hands in. Twenty-four thousand four seventy. Easy has a ton of outs with the open ender, and the flush draw, a little combo draw. Twenty-four point four. We're gonna run it one time. There's the straight. We're gonna need the board to pair for Hart. Hart now. Needs a six, seven, eight, or ten. Does not come. And easy. With the incredible combo draw, open ender and a flush draw hits the ten. Yeah, hand plays itself with a flop like that. All the money is getting in, and we wasted no time. Heart felted. Thank you. Back down to zero, reaching into the bag for the reload. How about in between hands? They have in between hands. How many can they write down? The ladies for Daniel. You think the table would have some side action on this? I had nine six. Unfortunate. I'll go out there and I'll feel it out. I don't know if this is actually going to happen. All in for Hart with Ace Queen. All right, I'll have a second, McAllen. <laughs> and Doug going for some more McAllen. All in. It's a fold. No. Me and Zach. I was cool. For Daniel. All right, top board. 
chop. Oh my god. You said twice, guys? Ooh, Both yeah. players with the net button. Put up on the top board. Oh, I had a queen. Put, a, put all clubs in that. They're going to run it two times. First board determines the nit game. <laughs> There's an ace for heart. That's a jack and a king. Okay. <laughs> I don't think she was talking to you. What? No, she wasn't, king. no, she wasn't responding to you. I wasn't. I was, if, if she said okay and then that was the turn in river, yeah. I would have to do like a conspiracy. Like. Uh, jack and a king? Okay. <laughs> First board and the knit button is released by heart. <coughs> no, I would have lost. I had an ace. So I would have beat queens, but. Fucking good. Heart needs an ace here to scoop. Does not come. It's <laughs> chop it up. And heart benefits the fact that he released his. Knit button. Bulldog, ace queen suited. And Daniel giving action left and right, especially to his good buddy, and flops the joint. There you go. Goes check, check. And the ace. Bulldog hits his ace. And the redraw to the flush for Daniel as well. Time to start building a pot this deep, right? No, just goes for the call, waiting to strike on the river. And will this river kill his actions? It will not. Bulldog still going for value. to raise down and here we come Six hmm. I did say to myself I was gonna call when I'm back gut tells him the call how much is that 44, 44. Bulldog thinking over his options. Makes the call. Daniel gets paid. Wow. Oh, wow. Shoot. Good flop, Jack. And Daniel wins an $11,800 pot from his buddy Bulldog. That's a lot of night stays at the hotel. Yeah. Let me guess, all then. Right. <laughs> I didn't have a good hand. I had a good hand, but not a great hand. Yeah, yeah. Aces for Jaywin. Sorry. Eight hundred. Yeah. Mother. Uh, six hold. Seven hold. Stash calls with his suited Broadway cards, and Bulldog comes along with four or five. Three ways. Bulldog gut shot to the wheel. Seven. Top Broadway sets. Broadway draw for Stash and the set for Jaywin. Jaywin's been pretty quiet the past couple orbits, waiting for his time to strike. And what a moment here. But all of these straight draws for his opponents. And we're going to go three ways to a turn. You see diamonds for Jaywin. Stash still looking for that jack. The three for Bulldog. And instead, it's a five. Check mark for Jay. 7,000 in the middle. Backdoor diamonds come in. The wheel comes in, but not for Bulldog. Jaywin's got to feel pretty good with the nut blocker, too, and the ace of diamonds. So he's going to go for some value here. And it should be a quick fold from everybody. Huh? You like Unless Bulldog wants uh, to get I, I, very, I, I very sticky and call him down in a multi-way pot with a rivered like pair of fives. I kind of like them sometimes. A 40% yeah, pot bet there from Jay Wynn. 
Uh, and perhaps Bull one thinks Bulldog thinks Jay wins full events. Gonna go for a raise, turn his fives into a bluff. He's thinking about all his options. It's a good habit. Just pick it up. I've been to Cigar Mart two or three times. Yeah, once With a month. Work friends or something. Occasion. Like and now it's just call or fold the way. Bulldog's body language is. Yeah, I've only been to one on the road traveling for work. I've seen mm. a cigar bar, a cigar barber shop one time. It's pretty cool. I mean, I didn't, I didn't go in it, but it's gonna pay him off. Pop Pop this went. <laughs> Jay Wynn's gonna get paid like there. It. What's up, guys? Dog Polk here, and today I want to tell you about my favorite place to play poker, the Lodge Poker Club. The Lodge is a members-only social club here in Austin, Texas, and I gotta say, the action is wild. I don't know how many thousand big blind pots I've played in my life, but they mainly happen at the Lodge. Also, the staff is fantastic. We have some of the best dealers in the entire country, and the room is huge with over 80 tables. We're the largest room in Texas, and actually just straight up one of the largest poker rooms in the world. I know what you're thinking. The Lodge sounds great, but exactly what's going on there? Well, like any other good poker room, we've got two kinds of games going. We have cash games and we've got tournaments. Our cash games include everything from 1-2, 1-3, 2-5, and higher depending on the day. And we've got 1-2 running just about every hour around the clock. So if you want to play a cash game, the Lodge has one going right now. Also, the Lodge has tournaments, two tournaments every single day, one in the afternoon and one in the evening. So you can stop by and play one of the many tournaments that we offer. We'll certainly have a tournament for you. A few times a year, we also have big tournament series going with our Lodge Championship Series, which happens every year before the World Series of Poker, and our Mayhem Series, which happens a couple times over the course of the year, that tends to have an $1,100 million guaranteed prize pool main event. Like the sound of what you're hearing? Head on over to LodgePokerClub.com or just Google search for Lodge Poker Club. I'm sure you're going to find us. I look forward to seeing you over at the Lodge.